So yes. Or do you want some strawberry? Here you go. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll try some strawberry. What is it, the pink one on this side? The pink one on your side, here. No, it's dark pink. St strawberry. Yeah. Do you want to try some strawberry? There you go. You don't want it. Okay. Yeah, I want to try strawberry. Okay. Oh, just pop it back. There you go. I, I can't, only Daddy can at the moment because my belly. She's got a little. You can choose. The one with green in them. Hello. I just thought whilst it's quiet, I'd quickly say hello <laughs> and let you know that this video is going to be little snippets of things I've filmed over the past couple of weeks. It's been a bit tricky lately. Um, in case you wonder what I'm doing, I'm holding my bowl of cornflakes. <laughs> my dad has just taken the children out. So. Whilst they're out on their balance bikes having a little adventure, I thought I'd just take that quiet time and have a chat with you. I still can't take them out at the moment because although I can walk a little way in that, if they fall over or hurt themselves, I can't pick them up. I've got a couple more weeks of not being able to do any heavy lifting and then I've got to kind of get my strength back. Um, but yeah, I've been filming little snippets of things I've done with the children and there's some a book that we love, a couple of books that we love, uh, collecting seeds in the garden, or oh, there's just lots of little bits. Um, and I want to say as well, I pick out my favourites, you know, so you see like the highlight reel. And I know people are aware of this anyway, but it is still very difficult. <laughs> and a lot of things have been being broken in our house lately. There's been behaviour of like breaking things, so that's cost us. Um, and the car's dying even more so. You know we've got a dying car anyway. And now it won't go into first or second gear. I was brave the other day and decided to just drive out to the post office, which is annoying because when I was a little girl we had one where I live, but they closed it down, so you have to drive to one now. Anyway, um yeah and as I was driving it wouldn't go into first and second gear it was really really hard luckily I was only up the road but I had a little walk with them that day but yeah I can't drive out so yeah there's lots of things going on you know so I don't want it to be a rose tinted version of life it's just that I'm very good at remembering the sad bits and I have to retrain my brain and so I film little things and I'll take photos of things and I suppose it's kind of like a, a journal like a gratitude journal and that's what my videos are they're all the little moments of joy that I find and they bring me joy and I like to share them with other people so that's what this video will be a little collage of clips <laughs> but I'm gonna go because I don't like soggy I've got Tesco cornflakes which I just couldn't wait for we had uh, for breakfast today I did a backwards day and we had sandwiches and crisps for breakfast so that I could have because it's hot I can have a nice cold bowl of cereal in the middle of the day and then because it's Saturday it's bacon day so that'll be for dinner um, and I think I'm just going to do like hash browns with bacon chopped up and tomatoes and lettuce and stuff like that but Chris is doing lots of overtime as well so that's another thing that's very hard at the moment and we are so blessed that he has been given overtime because we're trying to get out of this great big hole of debt and that has happened not from us being frivolous because we're not and <laughs> we've got a dying car so it's not like it's car finance it's just low income and everything all our living expenses were going on the card so if you've watched any of my old videos you know that's what was happening anyway and so whenever I say oh Chris was naughty it means he's put it on the card so we're very blessed that he has got lots of overtime at the moment we can try and get out of that so that's 
probably next year and the year after we'll be doing no spends as well just trying to get ourselves out of it all but that's nice because we've got a plan now and that's lovely and so even though it's sad that he is working it's such a blessing to have him working yeah, I can't think if there was anything else to say, but I, I hope that you find little moments of joy in your day as well. You love doing these, don't you? I need one now. No, you don't need to. You've already counted all the froggies. You wanted to do them first, didn't you? Do you know what this? Bears. Do you know what this one says? What does it say? It says draw. What number's that? Draw a picture. Draw what number? What number? Draw. Read the number, baby. Oh. What comes after nine? Oh. Ten. Yeah, so number 10. It's tricky, isn't it, when it's in a sentence? Makes it look different. Draw 10 fish. Got to fill it up with fish. So you hold your pencil properly right down the bottom. That's it. Flowers. Yeah, draw. Six flowers. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's tricky doing them. So you draw a line. It's tricky. Do you want me to draw one and then show you how I would do it? It's up to you how you do it. But I would draw a line like this. And then I'd do a circle. And then I'd just do all the petals like that. And so that's a number one flower. Do you want to have a go? It's a lovely flower. So now we've got two and we need six. That's the one the baby flower bent down. Oh, a baby flower that's bent down. Yeah, it needs water. Yeah, I need to give it some more water. Right, next line. Because we've got to get six flowers in there. We've only got two. Do you want to do a tall one? Sticking right at the top. Oh, that is a tall flower. <laughs> God, that's a really tall flower, that one. 
It's going to cost out flour. Yeah, so we've got three. Is that six? No. Oh, better do another one then. <laughs> that one's a really big one. That is a big flower. Giant flower, that one. So we've got one, two, three, four. Hold on, you better put that one all the way in the water. Yeah, otherwise you get thirsty. So might maybe get a line over here. Just do a little one over here. That's it. And big petals. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so you got one, two, three, four, five. Is that enough? No. Oh, how many more? Six. Six, so you just need one more. A super, super, Blooming super, egg. super big one. That is a long flower. And super duper big petals. Well done. Let me put the date on it so we know when you did it. <laughs> that was a lot of flowers. One with big petals. Well done, Arden. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, say the big one first and then find the rhyme. Cat. 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 Yeah. Dog. Frog. Yeah, you like that one. Star. Car. Star. Hen. Seven. Hen. Seven hen. It's not a seven. Mm, I don't know what it is. What rhymes with hen? Seven. Te. Ten. 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 Yeah. Should we just double check then? Hen. What's this? Ball. Does that rhyme? No. Hen. Cat. Does that rhyme? No. So it's hen. Ten. Ten. What's the rhyme for this one? Bear. 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 Good job. Can you do this next one in your head? So no talking for the next one. So say that in your head and then find what it rhymes with in your head. And then show me. Snake. Well done. Okay, and oh, what's this one? House mouse. House mouse. Say Mopsy. Stop that squeaker. Mopsy. Counting Creatures. It's written by a lady called Julia Donaldson and the pictures are by a lady called Sharon King Chai. Butterfly. It is lovely, isn't it? Another butterfly. Oh yeah, two butterflies. And the spider. Oh and the spider. <laughs> this bat has Baby. One baby holding on tight as they fly through the night. Who has more babies than that? Hold on, hold on. That's it. This sheep has... How many? Two. Two lambs. One of them eating and the other one bleating. Can you do a bleat noise? Me. <laughs> Who has more babies than that? This leopard has how many? Three. Three cubs tottering, swaying, pouncing and playing. Who has more babies than that? 
this wild dog has four pups nosing and nestling writhing and wrestling who has more babies than that this owl has oh my goodness how many five five and baby owls are called owlets can you say that owlets yeah so it has five owlets waiting for tea. What will it be? What do you think owls have for their tea? It's a little animal that goes squeak, squeak, squeak. Mouse. Yeah. Who has more babies than that? Oh, mummy's favourite fox. This fox has... How many? Six cubs. Six cubs. Frolicking, frisking, bushy tails whisking. Who has more babies than that? This arctic hare has... Seven leverets. So an arctic hare's babies are called leverets. Running and jumping, little legs thumping. Who okay. has more babies than that? This mouse has this one first and then this one. That's it. And then this one. Eight baby mice pattering, pouring, nibbling and gnawing. Who has more babies than that? This duck has nine ducklings swimming and snacking, practicing quacking. Who has more babies than that? This pot belly pig has what are baby pigs called, Arden? Piglets. Piglets. Ten piglets, romping, cavorting, squealing and snorting. Who has more babies than that? More than ten. This turkey has... Fifteen poults. Some of them peeping, the other ones cheeping. Who has more babies than that? Fifteen babies, goodness. This butterfly has 20 caterpillars munching away, getting fatter each day. Who has more babies than that? This frog has 25 tadpoles. Look at them wriggling, squiggling and wiggling. Who has more babies than that? <laughs> this spider has lots of spiderlings. Take a good look. They're all over this book. How many babies is that? So should we go back and find them? Go right back to the start. Let's see if we can find the spiders. What's down here? Spider. Spider. Is there any over here? Mm. You found one over here, didn't spider. you? Spider. Yeah, spider. Can you find your spiders then? Spider. How? And the one on my page. Where's that spider? Spider. <laughs> So this is our new book, isn't it? So you like looking at books on the telly, don't you? And on YouTube, if you type in VOOKS, so V-O-O-K-S, then there's storybooks, isn't there? Children's storybooks, and they come to life. And this is one of the ones that the children really liked. 
And so it's Alice's Magic Garden and it's about this little girl. So I should say, shouldn't I? That's who it's by. And there's the ISBN number for you. So you can pause that if you want to type that in to find it. But this is Alice at school. And what happens when she's at school, Arden? Do you want to tell us? There's me there. Yeah, so everything's grey and dull. And people are a bit mean, aren't they? And they're the meanies, aren't they? And they bully Alice, don't they? They don't like Alice feeling happy. They only like her when she's sad. But how does Alice feel when she's in her garden? Happy. Happy, and she, all the colour comes back, doesn't it? And the longer she spends in the garden, the more colourful and happy Alice becomes. And she's got lots of animal friends, hasn't she? She's very happy out there with her friends. And then when she goes back into school, everyone else is still very miserable and grey. And the caterpillar and all her friends gave her some... Cupcakes. Yeah, little cakes. And what did Alice do with them, Arden? Share them. She shared them with everybody, didn't she? Mm. She wanted everybody to f have some fun. And they ate her cakes. And then were they kind to her after that? No. No. Even though she shared with them and she was kind with them, that you can see the animals are coming in and doing magical things to make Alice feel happy. But the bullies didn't care. She didn't care. They didn't care that Alice had been kind. They just didn't like her being happy. And so, what did they do to her garden? Broke it. Yeah, they broke her garden, didn't they? And so the animals came in and hurt them. Chased them bullies away, didn't they? And yes, an unusually large rabbit gave each a thump on the rump. The rabbit kicked their bot box, didn't they? Yeah. What do you think he said to him? Go away. Go away. And so she said, thank you for your kindness. Our pleasure, said the caterpillar. Caring for each other is what friends do. And then Alice was very happy that she had friends. And she had friends until she was very old. And I liked this book because... My experience of bullying was no matter how nice you are to people, they're still going to bully you and be horrible. And I don't like how sugar-coated bullying is in children's books normally. And the idea normally is if you're nice to bullies, then they'll be nice to you. And, oh, the bullies are just sad. And so be kind to them and it will fix. It doesn't. No, I don't like that because that's not the truth. And so I liked this book. Alice didn't need them as friends they were not kind people she found her happiness elsewhere you don't need other people to be happy that was a really beautiful book she did that from dandelions yeah she was happy in her garden wasn't she have you ever searched cat tv Honestly, children love it. I know cats love it, but this is what we've been watching. We watch lots of bird ones and squirrel ones and fox ones. But the children were absolutely giggling and giggling at this. And so I was making a point of saying how silly it was that they were jumping up and down. But they thought it was funny when they jump about at the back there. And I just go, oh, oh, when they fall down. Um, yeah, so this channel is Pearl, Paul Birder, but I'll put a link in below if you want to put this on for your grandchildren. They do find it so funny. <laughs> Hello, you're in the garden with me. We've been collecting seeds the past couple of weeks. Well, Normally this time of year I would collect lo lots of seeds on our walk and throw them around the garden and hope that they grow. <laughs> We've found some sweet pea seeds but for the past couple of weeks I've had my husband and my children having a look out. And this morning I found some seeds in the garden from the 
I don't know what they are. My granddad said they're wallflowers. So they had seeds anyway. So we've just been getting all them ready. We've got little packets full of seeds ready to just either scatter around the garden because I've got lots from the front garden, all the Californian poppies and black uh, oxide daisies and things like that. And so we're putting them all into a bag and normally we would scatter them, but I bought some, do you remember that leather case I made? The hand sewn leather case that I made. I bought some brushes, didn't I? You saw some wooden brushes to go inside. And one of the brushes, when it came through, it, it wasn't nice. It looked like it had the start of some mold on it. And so I sent a photo to Amazon and they refunded me. And so I'd already spent the money. So with the refund, they credit to your Amazon account. And I bought some powdered clay and I thought it'd be fun with the children. Hold on. Sorry, I had to have a sneeze. When the sun shines on me, it makes me sneeze. Did you know that's actually a thing? My bro one of my brothers has it as well. And my children have it. My husband doesn't have it. It's actually like a medical condition. <laughs> so think about it. Anyway, yeah, so the sun shone then. It went straight in my eyes and made me sneeze. <laughs> anyway, I bought the powdered clay and I thought it would be fun for um, the children to help me make some little seed balls. So I think you have to have some compost which we've got some dry compost and then powdered clay and then you throw them you can make little balls out of them and then just throw them around like seed bombs that's the plan for those i'm going to show you what i've been doing though remember last time there was just bindweed everywhere oh, i've been sorting that right out my husband tackled lots of the brambles so all the ones that were by the pond and that, he did those. But he's only had one day off. He's working six full days a week at the moment. Just trying to pay off this debt. Um, so yeah, he's working really hard. So he, on his day off, he did a couple of the brambles. But it was such a hot day. And I said, no, please just rest a bit. But I've cleared this space. Oh dear, that's trying to grab hold of us. Um, yeah, I've cleared this space now. This has got a peach tree that we grew some from some peach sit like the pips, and you break them in half, and then we had to leave them in soil in our fridge over winter, and they germinated. And I've got I've got uh, four maybe peach trees growing. This one's quite happy. So that was from my mum's garden. These are flags. I have an auntie Linda that gave me these and so they're in the garden but they were all falling over and covered with bindweed so I've used this stick to just hold them upright so I can see them so from over here they look quite nice I've given the buddlier a bit of a haircut because it was so intertwined with the bindweed that I just chopped it and buddlier people say you shouldn't grow it in your garden but it's absolutely beautiful the butterflies love it and they say it's a pain because it grows quick but that's good if you want some shade and also you can't offend it I know it's hard to get rid of it but if you just keep chopping it it doesn't care about being chopped down and it's really easy to just take a cut in and get it growing again I've got one over here growing in that pot over there it needs watering actually children are watering things at the moment this is um, a hydrangea that my husband grew from a cutting we used to have a great big one by the pond but it's been so hot in the past few years that it just died we just couldn't water it enough uh, yeah so I have to I have to be careful with how much I'm doing I can feel now that I need to stop but I've done a good amount and it all needs a haircut so the top of this needs chopping down but I'm going to wait until it's a bit later in, in August. The rose tree, that needs chopping down. Look, it's got, it's got bine weed up there. Goodness me, that bine weed. It really has taken advantage while I weren't looking. Normally I get my, my um, long, like a fork, but on a long stick, whatever the proper name is for that. And I just wind it up like spaghetti. <laughs> This one's had a haircut. Chris has already chopped that a bit. But we're going to cut it down here. 
um, maybe a bit lower so it grows out next year and bushes out a bit more but we like the shade that it gives us so I don't know part of me thinking maybe we should chop it up here but I don't want it to be too long and strangly because the uh, wind blows across there and snaps it so I can't remember which one. Oh yeah that so this is the one we planted when my daughter was tiny um, and it snapped and so we grew the extra bit over here and that is a great big tall tree now that goes right up there into the sky so that needs a haircut as well this has had a haircut this is a beautiful beautiful one and I don't know if I think Chris has chopped it a bit too far I would have left some leaves on it so I think now that probably will die which is really sad but it it had snapped so much you can see Chris has tried to mend it but it had snapped so much during storms and things that it just wasn't growing very well and it was growing all the way across the path uh, rather than up so it needed to be retrained but I didn't get it in spring I didn't catch it early enough to trim it back so here's our oak tree I'll go around here you can't see in the neighbours too much but can you see up there we have some acorns oh bless its little heart it must be feeling happy see the pumpkins yeah that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to grow things up that fuchsia is absolutely beautiful this year it has it's been very spindly and poorly for quite a while and this year look at that isn't that amazing closer for you there we go it's got a little bee on it over there oh it just looks so happy this year I'm really pleased because this was all brambles here and so one of the things I tackled was this this was still overgrown it's got little bulbs that I've planted they seem quite happy and then look at the pumpkins they're doing really well I'll take you and show you the roses. This all needs sorting. That's got loads of little ground ivy growing on it. That, they need some water, don't they? I have to fill that up. The birdies. There's some roses. I'll take you around and show you granddad's roses. Need some more. I've been trying to take the ground ivy off of this as well. It's absolutely swarmed it. It's surprising, you think that you don't get much done. And then when you stop, you realise how much you were getting done. These are beautiful. <laughs> see the little bee. You see it? <laughs> Oh, they're just so happy when they get in there, aren't they? I can't get in that one. Thank you to everyone who's gone to the Kofi shop and supported me. Whether you've just downloaded something for free, good, that's what they're for. But some people have been downloading them for free and donating anyway, and that's really kind, so thank you for that. It's meant that I could so you don't pay anything to publish things on Amazon it's completely free which is why I always wanted to do it but I didn't have the funds to then purchase some proofs for myself to make sure they were okay and I'm glad I did because the colouring books came in and the front cover was blurry so I had to sort that out um, so the front cover is perfect now the colouring book is absolutely perfect and I will, I'm waiting for the proofs to come in for it so when they do um, I will show you and I'll sit down and show you the books um, but yeah so I've been able to buy the proofs for the mindfulness journal and I bought some extras and I'm hoping I can give one away for free on here as well like a little prize draw and the homemaking journal I haven't ordered them yet but I, I need to publish that one I need to get that one up and publish it and then I'll be able to order one of them and when I know that they're all okay and I've seen them all then I'll show them to you.
the next year now. This is a machine. Oh, look at all the seeds that you're going to get. It pulls off all the fish, all the food. And oh, I bet in this one there'll be lots of seeds. Oh, and this one there's tons of seeds. So, uh, you're excited for next year now? Look at all the seeds that you'll be able to plant in that pot. Each time they Hello, my name is Flatter. Would you like to eat some berry food with me? Okay, I'll go and get the dishes. Oh, wait a minute. Who really wants to eat berry food? Ah! It's kind of like plants or something. Ah! So she is a sheep. I like your shoes. Got beautiful shoes on, haven't you? Yes, and nice, can I see them? Here's my beautiful shoes. Oh, perfect I'm shoes. I'm just going to get my. Oh, is that her little plate? Yes. Oh, a lovely fairy food dinner. Thank you so much for sharing with us. It is a bit tiny though, isn't it? That's alright. Thank you.